Hello and welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining this workshop by Rental Scale Up. Um, for once, we started one minute after the time, but I was me, I was just chatting about uh, the great content we have for you today. Uh, we're going to have a, a work document because it's a workshop so that you can follow along uh, where you find the prompts I will be using for ChatGPT. So you can just focus on what I do and how I do it, the exact prompts. You get them straight away in the doc to follow along and that's what you'll get it as a PDF tomorrow. But again, I'm just waiting for people to join everybody. Okay, we have a hundred people now. I can get started, I think. All right. So once again, welcome everyone. I'm Thibault from Rental Scale Up. I'm here with Yuvika. Yuvika is co-hosting the session with me. Yuvika, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking, Thibault. And welcome everyone. This is our first workshop of the year. And in pretty much ever, we typically do panel discussions. Uh, and this is a departure from that format because we got requests from you that you wanted to uh, have a more hands-on experience, uh, tips that you could immediately follow along with. So here we are, and Thibault is guiding us through that today. Yeah, exactly. And we learned from last year. So uh, first off, I'm going to get, yeah, thank you for, for attending. And I want to quickly ask you a question, and you can use the chat. We have this chat box here uh, in, in Zoom. Let me know, uh, last year, a year ago, we um, did a session about how to use chat GPT and I showed first prompt a few prompts already. Who among you attended it? Just tell me like yes, I did, just like yes, me, or just quick things so I will have a quick idea so I can again adapt. Okay. Just tell me yes if you did. Um, um yes, no, yes, no. We should have made it a poll, I think, Yovika. Uh <laughs> first time attending. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. Hello, Alberto. A few names I know here. Um, all right. Okay, cool. All right. Perfect. All right. So um, let's say I learned from last year <laughs> and it should be better again. Okay. Thank you all. And just so I know again, a few questions. Um, <clears throat> we should, can you prepare a poll, Yuvika? Uh, because I would like to ask how many people are using already chat GPT when it comes to uh, uh, you know, uh, improving their listing. So don't answer yet. We're preparing this poll because it would be easier for us to have a, a sense of like how many of you actually use it. I will get started. So what we have today, we have a few slides, not too heavy, hopefully, so just to talk about, that's what we missed last time. I did not explain clearly that chat GPT, to use it well, you have to chat with it. Um, and also I will explain to you that it's the first workshop out of three. Uh, today, basically, we're focusing on things you can do to, to enhance one listing. We'll talk about, we show, we have several exercises, uh, improving your title, improving your description, uh, improving, for example, um, uploading photos, and for example, um, having chat GPT sort of analyze your photos and use that to improve your descriptions. We'll talk about as well reviews, how you can get ChatGPT to analyze some reviews for a property, find highlights. What do people actually like at my property? And ask ChatGPT, okay, now lift the highlights uh, you found that things people like, lift that and add it to my description. Yeah, I think we're going to see it today. So you see it's a lot. So I got a few slides just to guide you through this. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think, or maybe Yuvika, if you can do this, uh, as well, uh, and thank you for doing the poll. I'm going to, again to show a few slides right now, and we're gonna also give you a link in the chat to that those slides, uh, because at some point I will step away from the slides, we'll go right into chat GPT. But what I'm doing, the prompts again are in the slides. So you feel like, I really want you to feel like I'm giving you stuff you can use straight away. Uh, and a great question from, sorry, that's your first name, Miriam. Um, this session is recorded uh, and as usual, what we're doing after the session, so give us like uh, maybe 24 hours, you get an email with a link to the recording with a PDF for what we just shown you. Um, um, and as well, we, what we do in Rental Scale Up in our, in our, on our website, we usually do a takeaway article as well. 
So, but in, an, in less than 24 hours, you get the recording, you get the PDF version of these presentations. All right, so let me get started. Um, oh, what are the results of the, the poll? All right. Yes, okay, half of you, more than half of you are already using chat GPT in your day-to-day -day operations for content creations. That's fantastic. Uh, and 44% do not. And again, uh, we'll see. And that's what I wanted to hear, right? Because we I want to, to, you know, to be where you are, find you where you are and take you somewhere. Some For some of you, mm, I know this, some of you not, but let's make sure again, that's why we have three sessions. Um, let's get started and show things. Uh, right. If you ever attended a session like this, you know how I am really desperate when it comes to using Canva. Uh, but uh, let's see, I can do it. All right. Where's Canva in this thing? All right, found it, fantastic. Can you see the exercise four? Yes, that's what you see, here we go. Okay, good, because it's not the slide you should be seeing now, so <laughs> sounds good. All right. Uh, uh, all right, let me be serious for a minute. <clears throat> so the goal of today will be focusing on how to improve listings. Um, so as you may know, quickly, I'm, I'm Thibaut. I'm the creator of Rentals Scale Up. We have a free newsletter. That's probably how you heard from this event. Uh, I also happen to be the head of product marketing for Price Labs. It's a, it's a dynamic pricing and revenue management solution. Um, so that's a lot in agenda, but I talked about this quickly. So I want to quickly recap what we did last year. I will do some prep work. Basically, prep work is what I did not do last year, which is to explain how you have to talk to ChatGPT to get ChatGPT to what you need it to do. Um, and we'll so see, for example, the actually you have to ask chat ask chat GPT what it needs to help you. This is something probably you've done in the, you've done already, but it's a, a very good trick. You know, chat GPT, tell me what you need to do this, and then you give it what it needs. And then we go through exercises. I said we you know about fixing titles, description, photos, reviews, and uh, several of you sent uh, us to Yuvika and me uh, your listings. And I will be thinking we have at least one of you uh, who come online, present their uh, property to everybody else, and we look at their uh, listing. And there will be also my own listing uh, because you know what? Also, probably need to get things fixed. Um, I'm talking about the thing. All right. So, what did we do last year? Last year, we had a few demos. As I said, I went straight away in demos, and I think we got lost. So I learned from that. Also, but what we did last year, we still worked on this, right? We, for example, had a conference at the VMA International, a panel where we explained that nowadays, these tools basically enable you to do things that in the past, only Airbnb, Verbo, or Booking.com could do, like you know, create a description with um, automated tools, for example. Um, so that's that's really what we we did, and but still, I attended some attended some conferences the, over last year. I noticed that a lot of people talking about AI. I was like, that's too complicated, or I'm not learning anything, or I can't I can't do anything with that. So we thought, you know what, this year, let's change what what we do, and let's just do what we do as rental scale up. We try to learn from you, learn from what you do, and and to share what we do and try to, to progress together. So this is the first of a series of three about uh, AI. Uh, today, we we're really talking about, mainly if you think about it, what I'm gonna show is how you enhance one listing with ChatGPT. Next month, we'll say, okay, that's great, but I have 70, 80 more properties. How do I scale with that? So we'll talk for, I will give you today recipes on how to do things. And next time we'll see how to basically to collect these recipes give it to chat GPT and create your own custom customized chat GPT, if you will, so that it already knows all recipes, all your preferences, and you just have it uh, use them. But again, first we have to talk about what are these recipes? What can you create yourself? I really want to empower you, right, to do this. And also next month, fantastically, we have a property manager, uh, so sweet, 
uh, talk with them. They do amazing stuff with ChatGPT and they have their own custom GDP. So we'll, we, again, we'll be very concrete. How, what do they do? What are the limitations? So that's for next month scaling. And then we'll talk about in April about using AI for other stuff. Uh, for example, pricing, for example, messaging. Okay, all right. As you see, again, I want to make sure I we go uh, where we are. Um, and um, all right, so only 11 minutes past the time. I'm gonna make sure it's this. So um, the first thing to do, um, uh, again, uh, and maybe let me know in the chat, who is, um, uh, um, is anybody, Sorry, who is using anything else than ChatGPT for content? Are you using Bard? Are you using anything else? <laughs> Let me know in the chat. Okay. All right. Cool. And I think there's a great question from Antonello. What is ChatGPT? I love this. That's what we do. So basically, that's what this first slide is. Um, so basically, ChatGPT, it's something that will develop a company called OpenAI, right? And it's able to generate text as a human would do, almost like a human would do, right? It's like uh, create a poem about the beauty of Naples in Italy. And it's able to give you a poem about the beauties of Naples in Italy, right? Uh, I'm just pushing, that's just an example, right? Like suddenly you, have, you can get a poem, you get a you can get a, a description for a listing, you just need to give it instructions, which are called a prompt. Uh, um, describe, you know, tell me about the life of Conan Doyle, for example. Uh, and it will, it's able to give the biography of the uh, author of Sherlock Holmes. And then I can even um, talk to say, you know, uh, that's that's what we get. That's what it is. It's a language, basically, It all we need to know is basically it's got a big data, a lot of data. They, They've learned a lot of stuff and it's able to um, learn from patterns. It's able not only to have this comment, but say you can ask stuff like, what is a good biography? What makes a good biography? And because it had studied other biographies, it's able to tell you like usually a biography has, you know, there's a there's a title, it talks about the life of the author, it's chronological, this kind of thing, right? So it's a lot of data modeled. And as I said, it can be it can very give you different kind of outputs. Um up. In chat GPT, so that's what GPT is, if you will, what I just mentioned. Chat GPT, what we're going to see is that you have to chat with it. That's where it was a breakthrough. Before that, UVK and I, for example, were using tools that were already, like GPT, able to spit out some content. But you would, would one request would say, uh, um, give me ideas about how to, I want to create house rules for my property. Give me good ideas of a, uh, um, of risk uh, I want to prevent, stuff I want to prevent at a property. And it would be able to give me that. But sometimes it, it sucked or sometimes it was just not good, not interesting. The difference is with ChatGPT and I had to start over again. ChatGPT is that I'm able to hey, say, hi, ChatGPT, I want to, for example, you to create a poem about Naples in Italy. Will give me a first answer and I'm saying, mm, you know what, that's great, but uh, I want rhymes, make it rhyme. And then can take it for the output. It can give, it can take what it just gave me, hear my feedback and improve on it, right? Imagine we're going to see that. Hey, ChatGPT, here's my description. Um, improve it to make it more emotional, tap into emotions. You know, give me a first, re a first version. And I'm say, okay, that's great. Mm. You, your words are too complicated. Make it easier to understand because maybe maybe I've got a lot of non-native speakers, right? Make it easier to understand. Or, okay, write it again for, for families. Make it more family-friendly. So the difference with ChatGPT, that's where it's a breakthrough. That's how you have to use it. Think like you have a conversation with it. If uh, uh, the wrong way to use ChatGPT in a way, or you, know, you may know that, is to say, ChatGPT, do this and just take the output and say, and you're like, what well, kind of sucks? The output is bad. Yes, because you should never, in a way, the first output is like what it, what it thinks it should be doing. You have to be specific. You have to really be able to provide it information, right? For example, if I'm going to be talking about my Airbnb listing, what I do first, actually tell ChatGPT, okay, ChatGPT, today we're going to do 
I'm going to fix my Airbnb listing. And I start by copying a lot of stuff. Like I copy there my description. I tell it, it's like, you know, it's located in this part of the world, in this property, it's one bedroom. And generally speaking, I want to attract families. So I tell all this to ChatPT. And then I start asking my first question. Okay, from now there, here's a first description, how to fix it. So what I mean here, you have to give context, talk to it. Imagine again, it's an intern. That's the best imagine I could give you, it's an intern. You talk to an intern, you have to onboard the intern, you have to be very clear what you, you want. You have to be specific and give me a good, give me an amazing description is, is okay, but uh, I want a cozy family, a description for a cozy family friendly two bedroom apartment and focus on the fact that it's got a home office, which, which is great for remote working. That's already guiding it way more to what you want, to be very specific. Again, I will give you, we could go exercises with that general, general rules I can use. Um, another quick tip before we do anything, sometimes I'm like, okay, I want, I know chat GPT can help me, but I don't know how it can help me. So basically I'm asking chat GPT to help me. I'm like, okay, chat GPT, I want to do this. What are best practices? Remember I said chat GPT, what they do, they, uh, what happens in the models, but underlying that's below the surface. It studies patterns, models, right? So it's kind of able to tell you best practices for, you know, a listing description, best practices for house rules, right? It's kind of things. Okay, so tell me what best practices are and then, okay, what do you need from me? Uh, and then ChatGPT can actually give me instructions on what I need to give it to have a great input. You can see how you can really chat with it to even Able, able to get to the moment where you know what to give it. So I hope it's clear. Uh, and last thing, as I said, uh, feedback, talk to it. Okay, make it simpler, rephrase for this target, these kind of things. You're gonna see this because what's amazing, you can build stuff on top of one another and it learns within chat, right? You open the chat and you say, we're gonna see this, right? I'm gonna give it a description and I'm gonna say, okay, now here are reviews. Remember the description I gave you and you fixed? Use content from the reviews to improve it. We're gonna give it photos. I'm gonna say, learn what you, use what you learned from the photos I gave you and improve the description we just talked about, right? That's why if within a chat, if you add stuff, it's able really to uh, learn from it and give you a better output. <clears throat> Last slide. Um, I use ChatGPT Plus. I think maybe that's the question you have. You know, ChatGPT, there's a free version. It's called, it's based on ChatGPT 3.5 version. Who cares? Anyway, there's a free version, uh, which is limited maybe in the number of uh, inputs, how much you can use, but also in the things you can give it. In my case, I recommend using ChatGPT Plus. I think it's $20 a month, $20 a month. Um, it's not unlimited, but you can use it, you can use it way more, like you have way more capacity and it's faster and you have, and the algorithm is, 4.0, not 3.5. So it's better, I would say. And you can do more stuff. For example, you can give it files such as photos and PDFs. Imagine you have a new property. All you have is a PDF about it, you know, that you retrieve from the from the owner or from another property manager. But a PDF is good enough with a good description about you know the the, the area, the the equipment, amenities. Um, that's great because in ChatGPT Plus, you can upload this. And that's what I'm going to be using today in my demos. All right. Any questions, Yuvika, so far before I get into the demos? I really wanted to fly through this. Again, you have the slides, uh, but I really wanted to make sure that the workshop is also about empowering you to see, okay, that's what he's doing and why. <laughs> Yuvika, do you see any questions so far? I need to answer straight away. Uh, I think there is one which kind of weaves into what you will get into. Uh, the question is from Joyce. Joyce is asking, should you update your listing description often? Um, and I guess that is the premise of what we are doing today. The question we're answering kind of rises from this need that, yes, there is a need to update your listing. But maybe you can people add, like, how frequently is it necessary and who is it necessary for? As Joy asked this question, right? Joyce. Joyce, sorry. Thank you, Joyce. It's such a great question, right? Actually, touch upon. So, let's say here we're talking about listings. So, let's say we're talking about Airbnb, for example, right? And what we all care about 
uh, in this world where there's like more than 7 million listings on Airbnb is ranking higher than the other ones, ranking higher than the new competition, let's say. <clears throat> um, algorithms, so basically the things that are the models that uh, sites like Airbnb use to rank um, usually have a preference for freshness of information. What do I mean? Um, it just, I'm pushing it, but imagine between a listing that's not been updated in five years and one listing that has, apparently there's been new, there's new photos have been added in the last three months. Uh, description has been touched up, has been improved and they have new reviews. Kind of looks like the information is fresher, so maybe more relevant or more can be trusted, right? Imagine your property today from 10 years ago, prob I guess, you know, things change like the photos, things change, right? Um, so that's why usually there's a, 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 a thing for freshness. And sometimes we also hear that pricing is the same thing, uh, putting a price labs hat. That's what we're hearing as well, that if your price change often, again, it's it's a, a indication for the algorithm that there's a freshness. Again, it's like, it's like trying to understand how to rank high on Google. You can only try to guess how, but that's what I meant to say. So description is interesting to do because again, just like your photos or even the caption of your photos, you know, this, this software exists on the market that help you rank higher. And what they do is like apparently every 24 hours, they change something or they tell Airbnb something changed. I'm not going to get into this, but at least this, this idea of, you see what I mean? As freshness. Um, I hope it's, it's relevant. Um, all right, and last thing I want to say about photos, I will upload photos. What's really, really important, right, caveat, it does not really see the photos, but it's able to look at the pattern on your photos, right? And for example, you could say oh, it was too dark. Oh, it's a photo for, for example, this photo of my of one of, of my bedrooms. You say, you know what? You need to tidy up a bit the place. And it's true, the bed was not neat, <laughs> the cover. It can see it because it's a pattern, if you want, right? It's not able to tell you, oh, the photo sucks, basically, if I may say so. But it's going to tell you, not enough light, do this, or what I see on the other photos, usually living room, you need to, uh, you know, less clutter, it's fantastic. But we'll see this. All right. So I think enough, let's go into the exercises. I just want to give you the title of this exercise we'll be doing. Uh, again, before we get into the thing. So when you use ChatGPT us uh, and we'll see how we need, it's great to ask it for best practices. For example, how to write a great title that clicks and and use it with an example. Number two, you can see here the prompts I'll be using, right? So again, no worries about the prompts, it's in notes. Uh, next thing we'll go and create different versions of the set for the same listing. Imagine you have the same place. As you may know, for example, Verbo is very family friendly, right? On a verbal, 75% um, uh, of the listings have at least two bedrooms and verbal caters groups and families. It means that my listing, for example, on Airbnb and verbal has a description that's a bit different. I'm really going after families, family-friendly things. It's the same place. I just asked ChatGPT to rewrite it with the angle of my target here. And here, for example, can be the channel Airbnb versus verbal. Verbal is way more about families and groups. Really want to make things about groups shine for verbal, right? Uh, we'll see this again. Um, another thing, I will use, as I said, photos. I will upload photos. Even though you cannot see the photos, you'll see how I can critique my photos. It can actually give me captions for the photos or improve my description. It's not magic, but I want you to start thinking, oh, I could do that, or I could do it better than Thibaut and improve it on his... On his uh, um, Prompts, right? Last thing we'll do, reviews. We'll copy paste reviews from a listing, not mine, and then we'll see what we can get from it. What are the highlights? According, it's always interesting, right? Sometimes we don't think of stuff that people actually like and it, and it's, and sometimes we don't take a step back in reviews and this is something that's recurring. ChatGPT can see the pattern. They can see what's recurring and say, you know what? There's like five things that really show up a lot, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ask ChatGPT, okay, and then take my description and make sure, and make sure these things that are recurring that guests like, actually I mention it to potential guests because maybe they want to hear this. And maybe, you know what, maybe it's not the place people like. Maybe it's the host, but we'll talk about this. Uh, all right. So, yeah, let's let's see. Uh, again, I want to make it 
hopefully uh, instructive enough. I will stop sharing my slides. Again, the prompts are here, right? So just go ahead and do it. Uh, I wanted to do this in less than 20 minutes. I did 26 minutes, Yuvika. Um, please keep me, try to keep me on time for these four things. Any Anything else, any questions so far before we dive into chat GPT itself? Uh, not at this time, but I would invite everyone to keep an eye on the chat box as well, because other people are sharing their own um, tips and tricks that they use. For example, Paul, Paul Carter has used auto-enhanced AI for photo enhancements, which I think is a great tip, a great tool that everybody can look into. So. Oh, I love it. What we could do also, Divika, then, let's make sure we save the chat. And in a takeaway article, not tomorrow, <laughs> probably Monday, but in a takeaway article, we'll make sure to note any tool, any tip, any prompt that you guys are sharing, because it's all about us. You know, you can see maybe, you know, I'm, you know it's always, I'm going to do a good chat GPT, and sometimes it goes wrong, but that's what it is. Otherwise, I didn't want to record anything, because way, it's not true life. With chat GPT, sometimes you have to say, mm, you know what, do change stuff. You have to chat with it. Sometimes the first output you're getting is not what you want. You have to start over and do it better. That's why we need to do these live exercises. All right. So um, let me do it. So once again, let me go to chat GPT. So again, I'm using chat GPT plus. Uh, so I pay $20 a month. Let me share my screen. Uh, Mm -mm -mm. And I need my uh, prep prompts. Okay, they're here. For some reason, I thought doing this workshop live, my, my small laptop was a good idea, but obviously I miss my big screen to be able to <laughs> work faster with you guys. All right, we talked about all this. I got my prompts ready to copy paste. Let's do it. All right. As usual, if you know, guys, if you ever tell me I talk a lot, I have a French accent. I talk really fast. Please, Yuvika, something's not clear. Shout. Let me know. You guys in the comments, do the same, right? I'm here to help you out. Uh, and I'm just like ChatGPT. Sometimes, you know, I have to, you have to talk to me to, uh, <laughs> so I can improve my output. All right. So this is ChatGPT. Uh, plus, you can see I'm using ChatGPT version 4. That's what you get with ChatGPT. If you have the free version, you will see here is 3.5. Right? Again, just helping you uh, take you where I am. Um, all right. So um, first things, as we said, we want to improve on a... I want to find a some inspirations, right, for a title or a listing. You know what? I'm going to ask ChatGPT what I should be doing. So I just entered the first prompt we had. What are the best practices for an Airbnb listing title to get more clicks and views? So it's a way to check whether ChatGPT has anything to say about it, which is good. But so then here, I'm not going to read everything, is give me some kind of like best practices. But what's interesting to me, why do I do it often? Because then I will tell you, I don't want ChatGPT, I don't want to just say, um, uh, I have a two bedroom in Miami Beach with no view. Give me a good title for this. I actually want ChatGPT to retrieve best practices and then tell ChatGPT to use these very best practices to improve my title. See where I'm going? And that can be good for anything you're doing, but that's just an example, right? So we don't want, again, this way, it's sort of ChatGPT extracting best practices and telling itself to follow all these best practices. I could have my own best practices, right? I will talk about this with custom GTP, right? With custom GTP, it's like sort of maybe in my company, we have our own way to create titles. We have our own way to make descriptions with the special words we want to have in this, special trend of emotion, right? We'll see next time we'll be able to craft it uh, and, to, and to call that. For the moment, that's good enough. Um, I say ChatGPT, that's the um, um, best practices. And I will say, that's great, but you see what's missing? I always want to make sure when I'm talking about uh, Airbnb or anything like this, I'm missing anything about number of characters. So what I'm doing 
I'm just saying, also checking. Uh, here, uh, the prompt again, I had been a check. I say, what is the character limit, right? Because if it's creating a, I just want to make sure it knows. <laughs> and I want to make sure as well, it will take into account, right? Uh, okay, 50 characters, good, it's true. <laughs> sometimes, and it's where I'm going to go here, sometimes ChatGPT can spit out facts and data that are not true, right? So you can see here, I'm not, so usually best practices, you're pretty good. But if you ask it to give you, for example, you know, by how much, how many percent did the economy grow last year in, in France? Maybe it's going to give you the right number, maybe not. I don't know, right? So be careful with numbers like this. Character limits, the information is vastly, is available everywhere. You can count, it's kind of true, but why not check it? Anywho, so I went very fast and um, here I did all this. I called out best practices. I wanted best practices, right? Now it is a character limit and like, okay, I just chatted with it, right? I just chatted with it and like, okay, great. Great, um, Mr. Or Mrs. Intern, give me the best practices. What the character limit? Okay, well, just use that, right? These recipes just gave me. Use it to cook a, a here, and uh, give me examples with an S, right? For uh, 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 of the title because we're talking about title, so I don't have to tell it about a title, right? I'm chatting about the title, so it knows contextually. I'm talking about the title. Maybe I could have been more precise and give me a title example, but good enough. A two-bedroom condo in Miami Beach, no big deal. I mean, I'm really going for something a bit uh, uh, no, not great, but it's using best practices. <clears throat> All right. So um, uh, it's um, and here again, you can. Um, it's really the first example. We're not going deep, just but just give you examples, right? Uh, I can get several examples. I was asking for several things. It can jumpstart stuff and I can pick one and say, oh, I like number number 10. I could say more like number 10, for example. And then because I'm chatting, it's right inviting to bedroom condo, Miami Beach Escape, for example, maybe I like it. Or maybe, mm, you know what, condo near dining shops, I like it. It sucks because it's not, it sucks, sorry. for the. I'm not sure why you're saying this a lot tonight. Sorry about that. But they say it's not, it's, I can imagine, mm, you know what, it's not close to the beach. But you no, know it's close to dining shops and that's true to my place. I want more like this, so like um, more like seven, right? In this case, give me a number. Uh, I like the one that says about things. So it's gonna give me more, again, uh, examples of stuff resembling this. So here I'm talking to it. I say, I like your number seven. Give me more like this. And it knows, uh, I talk about amenities, right? Just examples, okay. Any questions for this this first example? And just to just a reminder, I have shared this in chat already, everyone. But if you have questions, even while Thibault is presenting, you can ask your questions. You can submit them using the Q&A button in your Zoom toolbar. So even if we are, some of them we are answering directly by responding to your questions, some of them Thibault will answer live on air. So use the Q&A button to ask your questions, please, because in chat, they may get lost since That's there are sick. many people interacting. All right, so let's look at descriptions. And here we have an example. Kevin sent us a description for a, a property. What I like, guys, uh, guys and girls, I have, to be, I have to be more inclusive, right? You know, friends from rental scale up. What I, like I think guys is now used in a very gender neutral way. So you're okay. I just want to make sure I'm covering everyone. Um, um, Uh, we so we asked you to send us you no know, listings, links to listings where you think you could you could fix stuff or you wanted some help and so and you didn't make my life easy. <laughs> you sent me things, beautiful properties with great descriptions already and review scores of four point ninety eight, for example. Challenge accepted. Let's see what we can do again. I'm not pretending it's genius, but let's see a few things we could be doing. Right, again, if I was starting with something very in a way very. Uh, uh, crappy, the improvement would be like, like yeah, we started with something very like was really bad. Let's start with something that's really great, whether we can add any value. Uh, so um, I want to share the property that Kevin had. Is Kevin on, on board, Kevika or not? Yes, he's here and uh, we can maybe have him um, come live on air to share a little bit about his 
briefly introduce himself if you want. Um, if we are okay to do that, I can do that now. One moment. Hi, Kevin, can you hear me? I think you are uh, muted right now, but you're able to talk if I mean, you have the ability to know. Hi, hi, we are here. This is Kevin and um, I've got my partner here, Antonio. Hi, everyone. Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in today and thank you so much for submitting your listing with us uh, to do this live exercise. So just again, to, for context, we, uh, Kevin submitted, Kevin and Antonio submitted their listing um, in response to one of our emails before. And Timo is going to go over them live, but let's have them share a little bit about themselves and their business. Kevin, please take it away. Mm -hmm. okay, Hello, everyone. Thank you for the help today and for all your suggestions. Uh, so we've been hosting for about seven plus years. Uh, we've been super host from the very beginning and... Uh, we provide a very, um, I guess, personalized service, five-star service. Uh, we're a six-bedroom, five-bathroom property located in Paradise Valley, which is adjacent to Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, we, we allow up to 12 people uh, because of the size of the property. And um, we are located in an area that is surrounded by beautiful views of mountains, Camelback Mountain, uh, and other mountains around. So the property, we try to showcase that with the pictures um, and within the description. Uh, I think there is some improvement and hopefully you guys can help us. Thank you, Thibault. Wow. Ah. Thank you, Kevin Antonio. Kevin Antonio. Uh, yes, as I said, it's uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. You have amazing reviews. People love you. I'm like, let's see if I can do anything. But it's not that I can do. I think it's a great example, as I said, right? Like trying to get something that's already great and see whether there's anything we can do. And again, it's not like ChatGPT says you should do this, that you should, right? It's like brainstorming, uh, jump starting something, especially if you're already at a good level. And it's up to you to make, make a decision, right? I'm not saying that the output you're going to get from ChatGPT should replace whatever you've done or other ideas you could have, right? It's really, really important for us to also not have a you know, complex of inferiority to watch GPT. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's, it's great. And I'm like, eh, yes, I can improve it. All right, so let's get started. So here we have this great description. Uh, I'm just gonna take it um, here. So I'm copying uh, the space, which is your description listings. Um, all right. Um, and then I will go in chat GPT now. Because I'm going to work on a different property, I'm going to open a new chat. That's a quick tip, but that's important, right? A chat, I can I can open a chat about a property, uh, open a new one for another property, and tomorrow go back to this chat about the first property, right? And take it on and start it iterating, working some more on it, right? That's really important, but don't mix mix them up. Um, you want ChatGPT to really know what you, you're working on. All right, so... Let's do this so one. Can you clarify uh, a little so bit just more why you're using a new uh, window each time you're talking about a new property, like a new chat? And you talk about it. Uh, yeah, I open a new chat every time, a new property, right? Yeah, can you share why you're doing that? Like what will GPD do in case sure. you don't do that? Oh, uh, just because, you know, as I said, it's it builds upon itself sometimes. Uh, it's like, as we see in the example, right, I will be able to uh, look at a property and then take to fix the description then I will upload photos I'm going to say uh, okay I will give you photos uh, update the description with these photos I'm going to give it reviews update the description with these reviews but if I started talking about two different properties it's going to be like maybe mixing up the description for property A and B together or the photos from A into B so keep it separate uh, again, it's an intern. If, you, if I remember my intern days, it was good when people were talking to me about one thing and about another. I could mix things up. Um, 
I'm not sure the intent uh, allusion, uh, metaphor is actually respectful or anything. I feel, I feel like bad saying that. Um, all right. So anyway, so let's we have this new chat. Uh, I just want to quickly go. Do you guys see my notes when I share this, or just you see ChatGPT? We can see your notes. Okay, perfect. So I'm just lifting here uh, my notes. So that's again, that's something we can do. And so again, it's already great, right? So I'm just gonna say ChatGPT. Here's a description of our property on Airbnb. Why I'm saying Airbnb? Because again. It's got it. It studied patterns, so it's probably got in its database a lot of listings on Airbnb, so it can note patterns, right? That's why I mean, like precise on Airbnb. Can you reword it to make it more engaging and highlight its best features? Let's see what it does. Um, again, I'm not going to pretend that it's that it's going to be amazing for first, but let's just see. Already, what you can see in a, in a by the way, in the original version. It was really great. It's really the first version you have. Uh, Kevin Antonio is very engaging, one of a kind. You walk in the front door. You already very taking me by the hand, and I can really see the place, which is something also I do in my listings. Uh, it's like I want people to walk through it and and can see it. And you saying asking people staying for dinner. It's already very conversational, which which I like. Um, but it's not about me here. Um, all right. So here again, it's just quickly what it did. It ref phrase in a different way, but keeping what you said, right? So maybe it's a different uh, way of saying things. Uh, step the front door, world of luxury, comfort, expensive living room. So maybe what it's doing is that if I'm looking at the example of the uh, kitchen, um, all right, for, we had formal dining has sitting for 10, staying for dinner, generous, a well-equipped kitchen comes fully stocked with everything you need to cook your favorite meals. All right. First, I make sure it's not it's not inventing things, but let's see. Looks a bit longer. Um, dining area exudes sophistication, offering a grand table, a grand table that comfortably seats ten, setting the stage for memorable dinners. Why not? I think you uh, by reading your copy, you are really about bring memories and hospitality, so memorable dinners. Culinary enthusiasts will delight in our special kitchen, special kitchen. A dream space that's both generous, fully equipped, stocked with the, to the brim with all the stocked to the brim with all the essentials. Whip up your culinary favorites, ensuring delightful cooking experience. Maybe it's over the top or you or not, but you that's just an example where it can really take a description, make it a bit longer, um, uh, and so also able to uh, talk about stuff. And we'll we'll talk. And I would point out one to mention. You have Jill, Jack and Jill style bathrooms. We'll talk about this. So just an example. So let's imagine. I don't know if it's right. Let's imagine, Kevin Antonio, that you say that's great, but I want the description to be more um, family friendly. What I, what I mean by that is that maybe I know it's for 10, 10 12 people, uh, and maybe I really want to attract families and for some reason not groups of people partying. Let, bear with me for the moment, but people who have big properties, you'll see what I mean here. Probably it's not your case. You probably have like groups of hikers, which are maybe a bit more quiet. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm just saying, okay, great. Make it more family friendly. And what it's going to do is going to, uh, again, use words to appeal to families, right? If I'm reading this, if I'm uh, thinking about it with my family, it's a family friendly retreat. And what can see, so um, uh Ample sitting for the whole family to gather, watch movies, play games. That's what we do as a family. Uh, the heart of the heart of the home, heart of the home is dining room. Uh, host your family meals. Uh, more than just a place to eat is where memories are made. I will not go too much into this, but if I look in the bathroom, I thought I thought it was very interesting. Um, the Jack and Jill style bathroom, which maybe I'm not saying there's pros and cons here, right? It says it's perfect for siblings or cousins. So I'm not saying you should do this, but what's interesting to me, it's able also to really engage and people saying, you know what? Okay, that's great. Uh, indeed, it's great for families and stuff. So I hope I would make sense. Uh, last thing I will do, I could say uh, reword it for hikers who like luxury. Maybe it's also your target. Maybe I'm advising, advising this property on a website for hikers or an outdoor vacation rental website. Same thing, it's gonna do this. So again, what's really important, I know my personas, I know who I want to attract, I'm making sure that I'm talking to it. 
Um, maybe I want to attract to both. I would say, you know, make sure that you can attract both groups of hikers and families. Um, I hope it makes sense for this first example. We only done the second exercise. I want to fly through. Um, Antonio and uh, and uh, Antonio and Kevin, what's your <clears throat> what's your opinion on this for the moment? Maybe you can hear you. Um, oh, sorry, guys. So we are loving it. We definitely are taking note of of things that we can improve. Um, I did like the I you know the the space that you talked about the Jack and Jill. We always have struggle on how to make that more enticing for our guests. Um, so definitely got some good ideas there. And um, but so far I think we're very impressed and looking forward to actually working with this more. Um, all right. So it, thank thank you for the feedback. Um, let's do a second exercise. So second exercise, and thank you for <laughs> allowing us to play with your, as I said, it's really amazing property. So it's a uh, fantastic. So let, let's let's talk of photos. Um, and here I'm not going to use my property. Skip that. I want to make sure we have time. I want to use is Candice Candice. I want to make sure I pronounce your name right. Can you Candice? Candice, can you come on board and and introduce your property as well? Yes. Hi, I'm here, Candice. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for having us. So I'm going to quickly share your property so can I can have an idea what we're talking about. And when, uh, feel free to, uh, when I'm desperately trying to do this, <laughs> feel free to start talking mm -hmm. about your uh, waiters. And, uh... Yes, sure. So I'm here with my partner, Dean, and we run a property management company focusing on, on holiday homes in South Africa. And we're managing about 40 homes at the moment. And so this listing that you're going to pull up right now is one of those. And it's it's probably in our most popular estate um, called Zimbali. And um, yeah, incredibly popular with the customers. What you'll see on this listing, it, it's, we've actually created a second Airbnb profile. So um, this one doesn't have too much history. Um, it's a fairly new listing. Um, yeah, only one review, as you can see there. However, we've had multiple more stays than that. Um, yeah, we've been running the company for the last seven odd years. And uh, yeah, when you when you you know operating a business with multiple properties, uh, it sometimes does get a bit tricky trying to stay on top of best practice when it comes to your listings um, across the entire portfolio. So we're very keen to learn how we can go about optimizing through AI um, and yeah, see how we can improve. Uh, that's great. That's great. Um... All right, let me get started with this. Uh, I'm going to change it up again. Again, So um, <clears throat> actually, I'm going to start with my own properties to on my photos. Sorry, I was just changing up the order thinking because I was listening to you. Um, mm, yeah, let me do this. Um, up. I like what you said, can, can this as well, because it's also sometimes, let's imagine, I have condos in the same building and I have to come with three different descriptions and I precisely <laughs> made them exactly the same to save money. Can happen, right? <laughs> we have a property in a holiday park and how do how can we bid different? Or, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's really common change for all of us. So uh, I'm just quickly make sure uh, I can retrieve things here. So I think I got, yes, I got photos from your place, probably in the wrong order and the rest, but all right. So what I'm I might telling now, ChatGPT. Again, you guys have the prompt in the doc. You get it tomorrow on PDF. I've uploaded photos of my property. Before I use them on the Airbnb, could you provide for each of them tips on how to improve them or suggest the best order to display them in my listing? Mm. Here, basically, it cannot really judge things. What it can do, it can because it's, it's it has in its memory, if you guys want, in the database, in a really a huge database. It's got patterns of photos, right? And as here's just to give you a quick example of what you can see. For example, it's, it says number one, I guess image number one. It, so it's able apparently to tell me it's an exterior view of the property. Let's see the photo first. What is the first one they got? Uh, it's this one with a pool. Okay. What does it say? Image states the stage showing the architecture and entrance to the property. It's not the one I'm talk he's talking about probably. I'm guessing. Um, 
Uh, it's important to give a good impression of property of outside, ensure the sky is clear, blue, to make sure it's more appealing as possible because you're taking a picture during the golden hour of warm lighting. Rooftop pool area, that's the other one, second one. Uh, so it was basically, that was number one, number two. Uh, living room, living room is spacious and modern, ensure that all surfaces are dust free. I'm not saying it's dusty, right? Uh, cushions on sofa are fluffed and arranged neatly. Rooms should be well lit, preferably with natural light. Dining area, this image should be highlight, should highlight space available for dinner. Table should be set neatly. Um, so what I'm just saying here, what's interesting, only for our demo here today, you can see it's able to see patterns. It's not probably super um, um, super detailed, but it's able to see patterns. So I just want to, it's doing its thing, let's, let's move on for, for us. Um, what I can do though, I can then start saying, um, something stuff, I, I will stop, I can stop the request if I want to hear and do something more, which is like, okay, now add caption that match my target audience. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this. Candice, who is your target audience for this property? So it's holiday makers primarily. So yeah. Families? Families, yeah, correct. And they've got a pretty big budget. So they, yeah, yeah. Families of how many they, on average? Uh, families of um, eight, yeah, eight, eight, eight guests. All right, let's see what, let's see what it can do. Huh? It's like it's live, <laughs> let's see what it does. Um, so again, as you can see, I'm retrying every time to be a bit uh, clear with what I want and help it, the stuff they can't guess, right? And we here, I'm really starting with something is, ChatGPT has no idea what this property is. Uh, so let's see what it can do. And again, I'm asking it to add captions. So at least what I could do is try to talk about the persona type of people I want to attract. Because we know captions sometimes, so captions are important these days still. Why is it important? So entrance door is a luxurious getaway. Getaway, uh, start your dream vacation, great entrance to a spacious family friendly retreat, family friendly retreat designed for to those who appreciate, to those who appreciate the finer things. People with a big budget, probably. Uh, um, dive into luxury, a rooftop pool. If this, if what they see is really a rooftop pool, while soaking panoramic views, family memories uh, under the sun. So you can see how it's helping. Why is it still important captions? Um, maybe so we know people look at photos and listings, right? We know this first thing they do. Uh, some still read the captions. They can influence the way they understand your photo. They can see it for, but also uh, it's no secret that big platforms like OT, like Airbnb and Booking.com also use, for example, some content like what's in your reviews, what's in your captions to qualify your thing. What I've just mean that what I've just seen with the photos, what ChatGPT does, as what Airbnb does, for example, to put you into a category. You know, Airbnb has Airbnb categories, right? One of the ways it knows that your property should be in amazing pools, for example, it's analyzing the patterns in your photos, just like we're doing here, and puts you there. So if in a caption on top of this, you'd say stuff like, um, you know, 40 meter long pool, it's helping you, right? So think about this as well. So here's just an example um, uh, of this. And last thing I wanna do here, so make sure I can do this, I would just say, uh, and I did my homework, uh, Let's see whether it's a new property uh, entering. Let's imagine pretending can this here, bear with me, but let's imagine get, I've got 10 of these properties, you know, one to the next to the other in a, in a, in a holiday park. I'm just gonna be today, today like, uh, you know what? I have a description, which is I lifted from your Airbnb listing. I would just let it tell it to use the photos I've uploaded to make the description more detailed and attractive to guests. And thank you for telling me who your guests were so let's, that was a chat, remember, right? We uploaded photos. I say, give me captions for this target. Let's see whether this chat, uh, uh, now ChatGPT has taken into account everything we just talked about from uh, the photos I gave it, the, the target we talked about, and is able to give me something longer. The description was here, which is very functional uh, and great. It's, it's, it's really talking to what it is and I got a good idea. And here maybe I got the blog. I, I got a blog on my website, and when I'm launching a new property, I want to be a bit more. I got more room, maybe, or I want to talk about stuff. 
uh, it becomes a Syrian four bedroom, uh, Zimbali estate, yada yada, design with these surrounding holiday makers in mind. Oh, look at this. It tweet, tweet, we chatted about this. We said for the captions, the target will be this. It knows in the next request I'm making, next in next output, it knows to reuse that, right? The discerning holiday makers, you know, people with a budget, remember that? Um, and here it's really basically also uh, mm. using some stuff it learned from the photos. That's where you have to make sure that <laughs> the caption it uses are, are, are true or it got your property right. Right, it's not magic, right? It can't, again, it's gonna see patterns, gonna not gonna really see your image. So here there's limitations, no magic. But again, that's a good way uh, to, again, uh, make a description longer and and cater maybe to uh, uh, different people. All right, I'm gonna stop here with this example. So I got three minutes to do the last example, make sure it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's clear. Um, last thing, I'm gonna go back to uh, Kevin and Antonio's property. And what I will do, I will uh, basically lift some reviews and just uh, try to see, oh, that's not the right property, sorry. I was just, go I'm going to copy reviews basically and ask what the highlights are in these reviews according, again, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to take a step back. Sometimes we don't have the time to do it ourselves. Um, I will ask ChatGPT to take a step back for me and tell me what are the highlights they see in my reviews. Um, next time again, we'll talk about scale. If you have to do this copy paste every time for every listing, if you have 50 of them, it's crazy. But again, if you get what I can do with a recipe, you get how ChatGPT works and we'll talk how to scale it next time with a custom GPT, with GPT which is basically uh, something you can do with the same, by the way, ChatGPT plus for $20 a month, right? But that's another thing. So, all right, so let me go back to the one we had because remember we already talked about that property, right? We talked about, so I'm go back to the chat. We talked about Kevin Antonio's property. I'm going to say, uh, here are reviews for the property. Oh, hang on. What are the uh, top five highlights according to my guests? Yes, I'm making typos, but the good thing, it can usually can read through my typos. As a non-native speaker, it's nice. All right, look at this. I gave it all these, uh, all these reviews, like almost just almost five stars. Uh, let's see the highlights. Um, by the way, we'll talk ne next month with a uh, uh, so sweet. They also use it sometimes for them to actually see which listings have issues, either cleaning or maintenance repetitive because it's a pattern, right? And then they use it and give it to their operational team. So come next time. But again. Let's go back to Kevin Antonio's. The first thing they like at your property is not the property, it's the people. <laughs> uh, exceptional host and hospitality, location and scenery, comfort and space, amenities and features, family and group friendly environment. Again, remember that was kind of a target. Um, that's an interesting point, right? You know, and we know in Airbnb that we have the host profile and sometimes we like, well, okay, so the host profile is gonna talk about my kind of hospitality, my brand of hospitality. I'm not, I'm going to focus the description of the place upon the description. But you know what? In a lot of cases, people come for you if you're a great host, right? So look at this, Antonio and Kevin, your names are there. ChatGPT tells us that people mention you guys by name. Um, so let's just, I'm just going to do one thing. I'm just going to close it on time. I'm just going to say, um, uh, bam, bam, bam. Let me paste it. Then... Because the chat, we already gave it earlier a description. I just going to tell it ChatGPT. You know what? Take descriptions we had. Um, oh, uh, okay. Maybe you don't know what I'm talking about for some reason. Uh, I can't fix it. I'm just going to give it away. Uh, one of the descriptions we used. Bear with me. So many good reviews. All right, let's imagine I had the, this one for hikers, for example. Uh, let's take this one. Uh, he's like, yeah, I can do the work, but where's the description? I'm like, okay, let me give you the description. Uh, here it is. Oh, look at this. 
I like how it auto congratulates itself, right? The description is quite compelling and beautifully written. Yeah, you did it, ChatGPT. Look at this. ChatGPT has an ego. Uh, all right. So what's interesting, um, adventure meets comfort. Um, so it's it's using what, again, it doesn't have to completely rewrite what you did. Um, all I'm asking is like, if anything missing, make sure to, um, um, my request was like, make, Review my listing, make sure these listings are included. Highlights are included. I'm just not saying like, just use what you saw in reviews. I'm just saying, make sure what we saw in reviews are there, is there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, apparently it added at the end, guest focus hospitality and beautiful location. Praised by guests by, by for responsive, gracious hospitality. We, Kevin Antonio, are committed to making your stay focatable. From location, it provides access based hiking trails, but also places you to Scottsdale for instructions, yada, yada. Ideal families and groups. You can see how it's using it. So again, we two minutes over time. Um, I want to make sure there's, there's questions, but um, we if you guys want to stay over, do you have any questions? Again, and... Before I forget, thank you, Kevin, Anton, and Candice for uh, bearing with me and uh, kind, be candid about your, your properties, which were already amazing. And hopefully you can bring some um, ads. Uh, you're going to get a recording, the PDF. Any question I can fix right straight away? Uh, yes, Tibo. I think there is one which is connected to many conversations happening in chat where someone has categorically posed this question as well. Before we do that again, this is the first of three AI-related workshops we have uh, planned for you. The next one, you can expect that it would happen in first week of first week of March. And I will be emailing you all the information like I do so that you know to join, etc. And I'll email the recording as well as takeaways and links to all the resources shared today by Monday. Um, On to the question, which is some which is a struggle that I personally had as well, which is around. Uh, chat GPT basically using a lot of hyperboles and uh, basically creating results that read the same. Uh, I think um, who's uh, uh, Soren has articulated this very well. Soren says, I've already created a custom GPT to improve my listings. One particular challenge I got into is that chat GPT tends to use hyperbolized language. Yes. Some of it comes off as exaggerated, nest, yes. gym, heaven, haven, etc. Even when specifically instructed to stop using hyperbole, I still get some of these words. Have you found yes. a good prompt to stop that? And this is, there are many, there is a lot of discussion around this. But, but again, we'll take these questions, make sure we either answer the takeaways, but most not. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, sometimes, uh, even when I do, I work on, you know, on marketing my properties, it's just like too much. I'm like too much. Or, uh, so I, I do the same. I'm like, uh, Sometimes I'm like, don't suck up to me. <laughs> Actually say it to, it's a chat. It, it will get you, right? Um, so again, I when, when I see this, I use, I'm like, oh, it's too complicated. I'm like, use simple words, but do not be casual. Use simple words, but not be casual. I don't want to be casual. That's not my style. Uh, if you want to, so I'm like, use simple words, don't be casual. Don't suck up to me. Just like be more closer to something that is believable. Um, we'll talk next time about custom GP, GPT. I think it's great you bring it because you need custom GPT. Um, you don't want to have to do this for each and every chat you're opening. Oh, yeah. And you, yeah. you could, of course, have it like me, a copy paste stuff, but it's better. We'll see with custom GP, GPT how all these recipes you can put them together uh, to create your own version of GP, chat GPT, basically, so that it knows what you like, what you do not like, and try to keep it. Uh, but it's it's true. It's you really have to. I'm mean, like everything is fantastic and marvelous. I'm like no. It's just people. I want people to believe me, and I want to people have the right expectations because you know if we overpromise, reviews might suffer. Any other question? Uh, one question was on Booking.com. We cannot upload our own descriptions. This is edited by their team. Any suggestions to bypass that? Let's come again. Oh, they're saying that since on booking.com, they cannot upload their own descriptions because I think they have an AI powered algorithm themselves that does it for them. Yeah, so the trick with booking.com. Is, is there any way booking. to find that? Yeah, so you you can't yet. Trick. Booking.com also has a host profile. This is where you can do whatever you want, right? This is where you use your talent to be creative and use ChatGPT. You can control that. Um, there was a question, there was a question, 
copyright infringement duplicates. Here you can see in a way, a lot of things I do, I'm taking something I created, I created a description, my description. I'm just asking it to be we wrote for family. So in that sense, it's not it's not copying somebody as listing, right? So it's not copyright infringement. Yet what it's doing, it's probably looking at patterns. What are the patterns for family-friendly retreats or vacation rentals on Airbnb? That's why I say this. And it's going to, so yes, so in a way, it's, it is going to use words. It has scenes or phrases, has seen on other listings for family retreats, but it's not like it's going to copy paste from others. I hope I hope it's clear. It's, it's a, such a great question. I agree. So I usually, I don't, what I don't do in ChatGPT, I'm like, write a blog post for me about blah, copy, paste. That I never do. That's because indeed there, who knows? You might indeed find stuff that's sometimes lifted a bit too much from other things. We But we really did a lot of rewording. We did a lot of using your photos, your reviews, all kind of information that you, you have or you it's your own, but at least that's about your property to talk about your property. So it's really a way as well to prevent that. Yeah, it's more, it's important to think of it more as an assistant versus the yeah. person doing that job uh, through completion. Yeah. The more unique information you provide, the better the output. And, and to finish this, and, and it's to reply to Ruth, through a great question. What do you mean with customized chat GPT with recipes? Can you customize ChatGPT or is it another software? That's a great question. So when I talk about recipes, it's like the, remember this PDF, the, this doc or where I was lifting my, you have a better version, but I was like at this doc. These are what I call recipes. Okay, how to fix my description, how to uh, create a better title. That's why I call my own recipes. We'll see the next, during the, and uh, you see during the next um, uh, workshop that you can indeed create your, your, own version of chat GPT. So it's it's also chat GPT. We'll see there's a button called custom GPT, which can customize it. And everything I, I told chat GPT was like, that's how I want titles. That's how I want descriptions. That's how I want th stuff. All these recipes in a way, I will put them together in this and it will know. I, so don't, when I create a, a new description, there's some stuff that's already there. It's like, do not be authentic, be true. Don't overemphasize stuff. Don't, don't don't like be real. These kind of things I will be able to give it in custom GPT. GPT. And yes, if you use Chat GPT Plus, so uh, twenty dollars per month, you have access to it. And what's great, there's actually already a library, and we'll see this next time. There's a library of custom GPT. Some people have created it. You can see that some people have created some about how to fix your Airbnb listing. The one I prefer is how to how to sue your host. <laughs> so it's, it's actually, it's like, it's a, it's a custom GPT for people who want to, uh, you know, argue uh, with the chat, uh, with the Airbnb, I um, uh, oh, forgot the name, you know, the system when you have a, 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 you want to complain about something and it's really guiding you how to do it. It's like legal assistance. It's terrible for us hosts, but it's interesting because it basically it's like a GPT got the instructions on how, to um, yeah, be insistent and get the money. Just an example. Yeah. Well, thank right. you, Thibault. I think we are way over time. Uh, oh. We will have to save something for uh, the next session, but that's a good thing, right? That we have two more sessions planned and a lot of this will be covered in the next one itself, especially custom GPT. Exactly. Uh, thank you for more than 100 people staying over uh, the time. Thank you, Yuvika, for helping out. Simran as well uh, in my team. I appreciate that. And that's it for me. I think, Yuvika, anything to say to say to close? Thank you all. You will find, uh, you will get an access to the recording and to the deck on Monday and an article outlining everything from today. Thank you so much for making time. It, we went over, but thank you for staying with us. Hope you have a good weekend. Thank you all. And don't hesitate to send us an email for feedback. Is the new format like this better or not? Please say yes, but no. Honest feedback again. <laughs> Be honest, be true. I'm not ChatGPT. GPT, don't suck <laughs> up to me. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Cheers. Bye.